Okay, seventh grade, so we're going to take a look at these last three questions in this assessment. Again, I'm not doing these answers with you because this is an assessment, like I said, like it's basically a test. Um, now, you can go back and look at the other videos with this. When I say it's a test, it's just because I want to see and make sure that you understand everything that we've covered. Um... So again, like we talked about yesterday, this is going over all those topics that we kind of discussed. It's going to put together all those things that we already discussed, sorry, and um, kind of assess whether you understand those or not. So I'm not going to answer them with you, but I am going to explain the questions a little bit more, um, give you a little bit more detail with the questions. Now with these I'm going to do the R part of the race strategy with you, so I will help you to restate your question in your answer. And this video is going to be really short just because all we're doing is explaining these questions here. So it says, the last paragraph of the article, you should probably go back and reread the story today also. Sorry, I should have said that. Um... The last part of the article states that American paleontology got a bad reputation from Cope and Marsh's cutthroat behavior. Explain why this is true. And then cite two pieces of evidence to support that inference. Now, what's an inference again? Making an assumption about the text. Um, right, that's what an inference is. So we would start by restating the question, because we can do that before we even look too much into it. So we can say, American paleontology yep, got a bad reputation due to Cope and Marsh's cutthroat behavior. I cannot spell today. So I would say it is evident or it's obvious um, And then say because. Sorry, I kind of jumped around a little bit there. So I said it is evident that American paleontology got a bad reputation due to Cope and Marsh's cutthroat behavior because. Um, so then you're going to explain why that's true. So what we're looking for here is what did Cope and Marsh do to give paleontology a bad reputation? What were, what were their actions that caused that to happen? Then you'll cite two pieces of evidence to support those inferences. So you could say it is evident that American paleontology got a bad reputation due to Cope and Marsh's cutthroat behavior because say something about their behaviors and then cite two pieces of evidence that support the fact that their negative behavior um, gave paleontology a bad reputation. Now, we cite the evidence, which means we give, we pull things from the text, like actual like quotes, things like that, put them in our answer. Now, what is the, the last thing is not evidence. I'm all over the place. Explain. Now, the E is explain, right? So, what do we need to do? Well, with that evidence, we explain how that evidence supports the fact that Ameri American paleontology got a bad reputation from their behavior. So, you're using that E to explain that evidence and how it supports your answer. So if we look at nine. It says, write a paragraph in which you analyze the positive influence Cope and March's rivalry had on the field of paleontology, both in their own time and today. Support your analysis with details from the article. It's asking you basically to do the opposite of what you did up here. So you're talking about how they had a negative influence on paleontology here. And then down here, you're talking about how they had a positive influence on paleontology. So you would say, Cope and Marsh's rivalry made positive, or had a positive influence 
on paleontology because or you could use some other word, whatever makes more sense with what your answer is. So now you're answering the opposite of what you said up here. So up here you're talking about how they negatively infected paleontology. Here you're talking about how that rivalry positively impacted paleontology. So think about what successes they had due to their like competition kind of that they had going on. What good came out of it and what bad came out of it is what you're looking at in eight. So eight, you're saying what bad stuff came out of their rivalry. And down here, you're saying what good stuff came out of your rivalry. And when it says support your analysis with details from the article, that's another way to say cite two pieces of evidence. Now, I would say cite at least two pieces of evidence down here because it says details, plural, with an S, right? So I would say go ahead and do two to be safe. So again, we've restated already. You just need to answer. Cite those two pieces of evidence for each uh, question and then explain how that evidence supports that answer. So now we'll go on to our bigger one here, which is an extended response. So it says, think about how the author of The Bone Wars develops and explains the rivalry between Cope and Marsh over the course of the article. What are three central ideas about the rivalry? How is each idea developed and explained? What detail supports each one? So what you need to do here, it says in your answer, be sure to identify three central ideas. I would go back and look at your... Um, the work we did with central ideas at the beginning of the packet, uh, just to give you a refresher on what central ideas are. So identifying three central ideas presented about the rivalry, and then explain how that text develops and explains these ideas. I would cite evidence to do that, and then use details from the article in your answer. So that would be citing evidence, like I said. So... What they're looking for here is obviously if it's an extended response, we want probably one or two paragraphs. Now, how many sentences are in a paragraph? Think back to when we did the argumentation essay. Five to seven sentences make a paragraph, right? I would say the best thing you could do here is write one paragraph for each central idea. Um, but you could probably do it in two, but that would be my best advice would be to do one paragraph for each central idea. So you need to come up with three central ideas about the rivalry between Cope and Marsh. So first, I would maybe write up here, do something like this, and then write the each central idea that you come up with right here. Okay, so... You could start out your first paragraph by saying one central idea that the author presents about Cope and Marsh's rivalry is that, and then tell me what your first central idea is. So whatever you put for one here, um, put down here. Now you're going to explain how the text develops and explains these ideas. So what that means is it's asking you to tell us how the text, what, the, what does the text say about that central idea? How does the author talk about that central idea? How do you know that that's a central idea? That's what it's asking you to do there. So how do they explain that aspect of that central idea? And then, obviously, using the details from the article, um, that's citing evidence. So you need to cite evidence to support every claim that you make. And then, as always, you need to explain that evidence using that rate strategy. I'll put it here again, which is restate, which we already did by putting one central idea the author presents about Cope and Marsh's rivalry is that. That is restating. Answer. You need to answer. Cite evidence. Pulling details from the text to support your answer, and then explain, which is asking you to explain how the evidence you cited supports that answer. Okay, and I know this is probably going to take a little bit of time, 
Um, and if you need any help on it, you can reach out to me during office hours. I know this is going to take a little bit, um, but that's why I split this into two days. So, um, if you have any questions on any of this, need a little bit more help with writing this extended response, uh, call me or Zoom me during office hours and I will help you. Um, but other than that, next week, don't forget that we're going to four-day weeks. We'll be going Tuesday through uh, Friday instead of Tuesday through Thursday. And hopefully you guys already have or you will be getting in the next couple days a new packet for next week. So we'll be starting on that new packet next Tuesday. I believe you get a calendar with it that tells you what pages we're doing when. If not, I'll have it posted on Class Dojo anyway in case um, that doesn't get sent out. But yeah, so if you guys need anything, again, contact me during office hours.